Mary. Mary, Mary, Mary. She wants to know, okay, um, let's see. What's your single greatest musical moment? Now that's really a good one. Surely that is worth blogging about. She thinks vlog's a heinous word too. It's my great single greatest musical moment. Um, my single greatest musical moment was singing the the lead vocal to Ready to Fly. I think that was it. I laid the track down. That song was really, really personal to me. And I was in Nashville, and I had uh, some time to kill, and I was in a studio, and we put up the track. And I think it's maybe the only time in my career that I've sung a song down from top to bottom, and that was the record. Um, it was a one-take thing. And I was just sort of, I found myself in that place to do that vocal. And I remember, I remember thinking, uh, that no matter whatever happened with the song, that it had already reached its full potential at that moment, if you can understand that. Because it was, you know, I think songs kind of come from whatever, you know, higher power or whatever cosmic thing you believe in. I think they, they come to you if you're a songwriter. And that was a case of the minute I sang it, I felt like I was kind of giving it back. I was putting it back out into the ether. And to me, it didn't matter what happened with it after that because it was such a thrilling experience to sing that song. So I, I guess I picked that. Uh, Ashley wants to know, do you miss your mullet? It's funny. You're funny. You're so funny. Uh, I might just grow it out again. Bring it back. I think if anybody could bring it back, it would be me. Uh, let's see. If a guy wrote me that, I'd be like, dude, let's send in a picture. I bet you're bald. But I bet Ashley's not bald. I'm, unless Ashley's a dude. Because it's one of those names, like Pat or, or Tony. But it's spelled beautifully. Ashley. A-S-H-L-E-I-G-H. That's beautiful. That's a girl. So. Um, she had a little smiley face, though, so she knew she was messing with me. Dana wants to know, Hey, Richard, what was writing a song with Ringo Starr like? Was the process different for you than with other collaborators? Um, it was great. It was, uh, he asked me to come over to his house. I was in L.A. And he played me a couple of things that... What was great is he had already recorded a few things for his record, so I kind of knew what the vibe was. Um, and we didn't write our song uh, for his new record, which is called Why Not. Um, he's out promoting it now. Go buy it. It's a good record. I think it's a really good record. Um, we didn't sort of just sit down and write a song, which is normal for me. Usually I start with a piece of music. I write, a, uh, if not the beginnings of a piece of music, I write all the music, and then I sit with somebody if I collaborate, and we, we work, write the lyrics together. Um, Ringo and I wrote the lyrics together, but he had already had a track, an existing track, that he wanted to write too. So we kept playing the track, and I sang some melodies, and he sang some melodies, and we just sort of worked on it from there. So it really wasn't um, an idea that was born from my brain. It was really something that he had already recorded um, a track to, and we, we wrote the, the melody and the lyrics to the track. And the song's called Mystery of the Night. And... Um, and then he asked me to come and sing all the background vocals, which was great. And then my sons, Lucas and Jesse, are singing um, on uh, on another track on the record, too. So that's kind of cool. They're singing on the title track, I think. Why not? Singing peace and love at the end. If you listen, you'll hear them. Okay, a couple more. Um, Amy wants to know, have you ever woken up and thought, do I have to do this today? Can I just call in sick? No, never. Never. I have the greatest job in the world. I mean, there are times when I don't want to get up and do a radio interview. Um, and there are definitely times when I don't want to deal with the business part of the music business. But I, if I have, uh, if I'm doing guitar overdubs at 10 a.m., wherever I am, and I wake up, my first thought is, oh, I can't wait to go do guitar overdubs or whatever we're doing. I love my job so much. 
I love the process. I love the doing of it. I actually love the doing of it much more than the aftermath. I, I, I've never ex the, the highs that I've experienced from number one songs or, or hit records. It completely pales in comparison to the excitement that was going on when those songs were being made. So, no, I'm lucky. Never wanted to call in sick. I've been sick, had to call in sick a couple times. But, no, I'm a lucky dude that way. Last question. Gwen wants to know, does it make you blush knowing that males and females like to listen to you while they're making love? I never thought about it till now, Gwen, but it's a little creepy. No, it's not. I like being involved. Depends. Depends on who we're talking about. Um... I think it would totally creep me out if I found out, like, that there was some porn out there with my voice as a soundtrack. That would be a little bit, like... Um, and maybe I've given some porn producer an idea now, but... Uh, no, I mean, I, 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 that's pretty. that's pretty cool thing, that people... If people want my voice in the room while that's going on, that's quite a compliment. All right, so that's it for the uh, questions. I think Matt and I are going to do what we call a tandem vlog, uh, maybe later today. I won't promise, but we're going to try and get to it. And uh, I'll try and check back in more frequently. And um, that's it. I'm signing off from Park City, Utah. Hope you guys are good. See you.